How's it guys? Here's a little before and after of the... Uh... So this is what it looked like before. Quite thick, quite bushy. Um, to be honest, just need a change. Because I've been super lazy today. Look how dark it is outside. And I feel like just getting rid of the old beard might do the trick. Probably not. But worth a shot, hey? Isn't it? In it. In it, bruv. The thing about when I shave is that I often... I've wanted to film a long thing with me shaving the whole process because I often mess around with different styles. But um, filming a whole long thing is like, such a loss. So I'll just show you this one. I'll... <laughs> I've not yet shaved a style like this before. Just get rid of the chin. I think it actually it looks surprisingly like it could be a thing. I don't know why. Because it looks like a superhero mask, that's the thing. Help! Help! What's that? Someone in trouble? Not for long. And there we go. That's that. Boom. Shippity shoppity. Chippity choppity. Snip off my beard doppity. Right, how's it guys? Like I mentioned, we will be vlogging all this week. We've just come to Babylon. But as you can see now, I am cl not clean shaven because I never like to go clean shaven because it's a waste of time because my beard grows out within the next few seconds. But <laughs> I have shaved. I no longer have hair on my face. And uh, if you look over my shoulder, that's the Pigal basketball court. And this is the Pigal uh, basketball shop. Sav and I are on our way to Pink Mama as you guys will know, we are massive fans of Pizza big, Popolare. Yeah. The, the Big, big Mama, Mama Group. Um, so Pizza Popolare is owned by the Big Mama Group. And this is one of the other restaurants. We've never strayed from Pink Mama before. I mean, from Pizza Popolare before. So now we're going to go try this other one. Because, as you guys will know, this is the lead up to my departure from Paris. So we're trying to cram in all the things that we didn't do um, in the full year that we had the opportunity to do it. Um, but not really, cr cram in is probably the wrong term because there's plenty of time, but we're just, we're just ticking off all the last few things, you know? All right, so there's been a slight mishap. We are now walking away from Pink Mama. Uh, the next free available table is in an hour and at least this one you can put your names down. So we will return in an hour. We're just gonna head to a bar around the corner for a drink, um, my treat. You can get whatever you like as long yeah. as it's one glass of water and then we'll come back. <laughs> I was wondering why there was no queue outside. Yeah, I was it, like, oh, fantastic. Yeah, we've arrived here late enough. Oh yeah, I don't. you guys might not know this, but the time currently is half past nine. So we have to arrive back at half past 10 so that we can then sit down and we're probably gonna eat close to 11 and then get home. What time does the metro stop running? Half past 12. Half past 12, okay, we'll be all right. A little bit grumpy, a little bit hungos. The place that we decided to go was actually this place, Café de Deux Moulins. And I believe you guys know the story behind this. This is the one where Amélie worked in the movie. You guessed it, Amélie. There we go, one X La Fabuleuse is what it was called on the menu. I don't think it's actually a 1664. And one times La Bora Bora. It's nice. Hungry. Okay, here we are, we have made it. This is Pink Mama. We were gonna get arancini, but they didn't have. Just calm down there, my little black eyed bee. Well, actually, you'd be a red kidney bean if you were anything. But we wanted to go for these arancini, but they didn't have them. They have run out, obviously, because it's so late. But to eat, I'm going for the funky pepperoni pizza. It's not actually just like a pepperoni pizza, it's, you can read there. And Sav has gone for. Well, we're sharing. Uh, where is it? I lost it. Sav, help me out here. There we go. Pasta. Uh, this one. La Fumis Pate à la Truffe. Solo. Did you get the one for four people? Yes. Very good. And then to drink, because they didn't actually have a drinks menu, I just ordered what I normally get at Pizza Popolare. And uh, I got this. So it's not what I was expecting, but here we go. 
I must say that we lucked out on the uh, on the seats that we got. We got put on the top floor, which is by far the best. Yeah, there's three floors in this place, and the top one is like has a glass, not a glass, a greenhouse effect to it, where there's just windows and glass everywhere. Um, yeah, but cheers. Wow, that's. That would be closest to an IPA. That's what I would say, yeah. And that's my least favorite, yeah. <laughs> but it's still tasty. Still tasty. This funky pepperoni pizza smells so good. We've got some poivron, uh, what do they say, like mariné or something. Confit de poivron. So there's peppers. Oh, it's just. Mm. And Sav's pasta, sorry, our pasta is looking <laughs> good. So we got the tiramisu for dessert because you know how we love some tiramisu and it comes in the tray. Oh, merci. No. Okay, yes, please. <laughs> merci beaucoup. <laughs> Oh, what a legend! So, oh my god, what a legend! But yeah, so the tiramisu comes in the. Oh, what a legend! What a legend! I'm, ready. I'm just. Yeah, you just go for it. I'm just so. He was so nice to give us extra. What a legend! Of course, it's about frozen. Yeah, is it good? Molto bene. And we're done. That's it. Fini. Absolute lemon. The food was so good. Ooh, the tiramisu. The tiramisu was so good. But it's home time now, so we're gonna sign out now, and we'll check you.